So I started off by, well we all went on a trip to London to take some photos and I took like a massive range of photos because surrealism is such a broad kind of topic I thought it's best to like try and get as many different photos as I possibly can of buildings, vehicles, signs, lights, portraits, like anything I came across. So I felt like um, I got a good range of photos that kind of incorporated, incorporated my ideas. I did just kind of a mini brainstorm of what I wanted to get from the trip. Um, and I definitely think my ideas that I wrote um, have been achieved by the photo shoots. Um, as you can see, I took a lot of photos. I kind of categorised them. So these are just kind of the random ones, which I felt were like things I could kind of like cut out of and maybe stick onto pieces of work. So not like actually use as a image, but you know, take things out of. Um, these are my buildings, which I really liked. I got some good ones in there, um, especially the ones with these kind of like like weird shaped buildings. I felt like they were really cool. Um, again, the graffiti tunnel, which is really good as well. I think that really fits like the surrealism element with all the crazy like, drawings and whatnot. Um, again, we went to the Sky Garden, so I got some nice pictures there of like here with the frames and the um, colours. Same with the church as well. I've got some nice ones of the church and from the Tate Modern and the Tate Britain as well. Um, these are just kind of like well, my Tate Modern page had, um, kind of was, I guess it's similar to my um, Tate Britain one as well, but like they had different kinds of art, which I really liked. Um, but I think I got most of my inspiration from the Tate Modern because a lot of the stuff was more modern and kind of fitted what I wanted to create. Um, so I started off with my first artist, which is Lorna Simpson. Um, I really, really liked her work. I found her, I actually might have found her from the Tate um, Britain instead actually, but I really love her work. Um, I think that it's more moved away from that traditional art and we've kind of gone a bit further into like the graphic kind of stuff, which I'm, I think I'm stronger in. Um, but yeah, she has like quite a weird style of art. Again, looking at portraits, but kind of just, I don't know, like, I love the text and the way, like, the placement and stuff, like, she focuses on the block colours as well. So I did a kind of brainstorm of what I wanted to do, just talking about colours and materials, and um, I think I did a mixed media for this piece, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I just some kind of design ideas again, just looking at, like, placement of where I put stuff. I initially had the idea of, like, buildings, but... I don't think like the buildings I took, I think I should have like stood further back because I kind of got the tops of them which didn't really fit on like the head but you can see when I tried to experiment here like they just didn't look right, they looked a bit slim in comparison to hers which kind of expands further. But yeah I did a development plan looking at um, you know a little photo shoot. These are some extra photos I got because I felt um, the ones I got from London, there wasn't like a big variety of portraits and it kind of limited me a bit so I just added some extra photos um, on there as well. But yeah, I really liked how the final piece turned out. 